Our story now is about the quiet diplomatic triumph of the Indian NAC. India's engagement with the Taliban regime in Afghanistan is starting to bear fruit. In a further effort to engage with India, the Taliban regime is undertaking initiatives to return private land to Hindu and Sikh minorities in the country. You heard that right. The so-called Justice Ministry of the Taliban regime has started work on restoring property to the, to the displaced members of the Hindu and Sikh communities. Suhail Shaheen, the head of the political office of the Taliban, has said that they have set up a commission that will ensure the return of Hindu and Sikh families who have played a historic role in the economy of Afghanistan. According to reports, these properties are being reclaimed from warlords who are associated with the previous Western-backed regime. This is a major development. It shows that the Taliban are taking efforts to address the injustices experienced by the minorities who have long endured displacement as well as marginalization. You see, Hindus and Sikhs have long been integral parts of Afghanistan's demographic landscape. They historically constituted around 1% of its population. However, their mass exodus began in the late 1970s and the 1980s. It was due to political tumult and the Soviet occupation of Afghanistan. And then the rise of the Taliban and the cycle of violence in the country resulted in further dis displacement of these communities. A large number of Sikhs and Hindus also left Afghanistan after the Taliban takeover overthrew the government of President Ashraf Ghani in 2021. And in the aftermath, Afghan Sikhs and Hindus were given the means to reside in New Delhi. It is important to note India has not recognized the Taliban government in Kabul as the de facto rulers, but ice has been broken by the two sides. India has tried to engage not indoors, but engage with the Taliban regime. In fact, last month, an Indian delegation met the Taliban foreign minister, Amir Khan Motaki, in New Delhi. New Delhi directly engaged with the leadership in Afghanistan. The two sides discussed various issues, including cooperation to combat the threat from the Islamic State Khorasan province. So you see, even though India has not recognized the Taliban officially, New Delhi has engaged with the regime as they are central to the future of Afghanistan. And therefore, Taliban's decision to restore land to displaced Hindus and Sikhs can only be seen as a positive sign. It shows that Afghanistan is rectifying the wrongs inflicted upon its minority communities. In fact, reports suggest that the Indian officials viewed this development as a positive gesture towards India. There are signs that the diaspora is now returning to Afghanistan. Take the example of the prominent Afghan Sikh population, Narendra Singh Khalsa. Nearly three years after he was evacuated by the Indian government in the aftermath of the Taliban takeover, Narendra Singh Khalsa has returned to Afghanistan. His return to Kabul was announced by a Taliban government department called the Contact Commission on Liaison with Afghan Personalities. In 2019, Khalsa was an elected leader in the lower house of Afghanistan's parliament. When the Taliban took over in 2021, he was one of the two Afghan Sikh parliamentarians to be evacuated to India. And according to reports, Taliban's new policy of restoring the private property of Hindus and Sikhs is part of a wider image building effort of the Taliban government. You see, Taliban wants to show the world that it is leading a responsible country. It is also an indication of the Taliban's positive attitude towards India. Like I mentioned earlier, India does not recognize the Taliban regime in line with the rest of the international community. However, it has stepped up its engagement with the Taliban, especially with Indian diplomats who have been stationed in the Indian embassy in Kabul since August 2022. You see, India's priorities in Afghanistan include providing humanitarian aid, ensuring the formation of an inclusive government, combating terrorism and drug trafficking, and preserving the rights of women, children, and minorities. Yes, the Taliban administration is nowhere close to fulfilling the promises that it made as foreign forces withdrew from Afghanistan. But perhaps continuous engagement with the Taliban regime could be 
one of the ways to address critical challenges in Afghanistan. And to that end, India has continued its relations with the Taliban. And this is why we call Taliban's latest policy move a triumph for Indian diplomacy. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.